What are the angels talking about? They were casted with fire. Every time they want to hear a conversation amongst the angels, they were casted. They were basically blocked and shielded. So the shaitan has said to the jinns, go and find out. Something must have happened. Baby, you can call me a superman Chuchu Delta Takani Taku Bama Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Longu back with another reaction video. So if you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Today, I'm going to be reacting to When the Jin First Head Quran Jin series. Um, before I jump into the video, I'd like to um, thank you guys for supporting us and also I'd like to ask if you guys can if you guys can suggest what you want us to react to because I feel like we've been doing mostly what we want. I mean sometimes we do but would really really would like your suggestions like just tell us how to go about and we'll be glad to do your suggestion. We'll be glad to do whatever you suggest for us. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. The first contact that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he had with jinns is when he went to the Taif. He went to the Taif because the people in Mecca were giving him a hard time and they've rejected his call. So he went, especially after his uncle died and Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha. He went to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But he was rejected. And they sent the slaves and the kids to run after him and to throw stones at him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to ease the pain that our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, has gone through. As he was coming back to Mecca, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and he started to pray. And a group of jinns came. While he was praying sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was reciting the Qur'an. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us what happened. وَإِذْ صَرَفْنَا إِلَيْكَ نَثَرًا مِنَ الْجِنِّ يَسْتَمِعُونَ الْقُرْآنِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, and we sent forward to you, group of jinn, they were hearing the Qur'an. وَإِذْ صَرَفْنَا إِلَيْكَ نَثَرًا مِنَ الْجِنِّ يَسْتَمِعُونَ الْقُرْآنِ Subhanallah, these group of jinns, the shaitan has commanded the jinns to find out what is happening. Because at that time, the jinns weren't able to hear any information from the heavens. So the shaitan said, go around. Something has to happen on the face of the earth for us not to be able to hear what's happening. What are the angels talking about? They were casted with fire. Every time they want to hear a conversation amongst the angels, they were casted. They were basically blocked and shielded. So the shaitan has said to the jinns, go and find out. Something must have happened. What used to happen before the coming of the Prophet ﷺ, the jinn, they used to hear the news from the angels. So basically when the Prophet ﷺ came, you know, his message, the, uh, the jinn would no longer, could no longer hear what was happening on the news from, from the heavens. So this group of jinns, Nusaybin, they were roaming around and they heard our beloved Prophet Muhammad ﷺ reciting the Qur'an. There's a hadith in Bukhari reported by, uh, by uh, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. As Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he was with the Prophet والسلام, and then the Prophet went you know, a little further and then Abdullah sat. When he saw it, he saw the Prophet والسلام, uh, there were some people 
or some different creations gathering around the Prophet ﷺ. Gathered around him so much so that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud could not see the Prophet ﷺ. So Abdullah moved and he went to see you know, the Prophet. So what's happening to him? The Prophet ﷺ gave a sign to Abdullah to stay back. These were the jinn who came you know, asking the Prophet ﷺ about Islam and they embraced Islam. So this is the first uh, acquaintance of jinn and these were the jinn from Nusaybin. The city called Nusaybin, the city is called Nusaybin, it's in Sham. When they heard the Quran, they ran to their people. They ran and informed them about the Quran. They went to warn their people. Their people from what? From jinn. قَالُوا يَا قَوْمَنَا O my قَوْمِ إِنَّا سَمِعْنَا كِتَابًا أُنزِلَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مُوسَى مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ يَهْدِي إِلَى الْحَقِّ وَإِلَى طَرِيقٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ يَا قَوْمَنَا أَجِيبُوا دَاعِيَ اللَّهِ وَآمِنُوا بِهِ They said, oh people, oh our people, we heard the book descended after Musa because they used to believe in Musa. Subhanallah al-Azim. What a beautiful Quran. يَهْدِي إِلَى الرُّشْدِ we believed it. Look what they, they say about those who say uh, uh, Allah has a son. What the, the foolish. The one who said this. Shuf al jinn, how they react to, to somebody who says Allah has a son? Huh? Foolish. At the time of the Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, some of them used to believe in Jesus. And some used to believe in Moses and Ibrahim. As they used to be people at that specific time. Allah has said subhanahu wa ta'ala, He's informing us of what has happened. There are jinns who have adhered to what you have said and they have accepted your da'wah. And that is why Muhammad sallallahu was sent to all mankind and jinns. Subhanallah, this book, it confirms it confirms the same message as Musa. Subhanallah al -Azim. They all came from the right source. From Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At Tawrat. That's why Allah has said subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wailun lilladheena yaktubun al kitaba bi aydihim. Woe to those that write the book in their hands and then they say it's from Allah so they can buy something which is insignificant. How many people that we hear these days? They write the book and they say it's for Allah. How many different Bibles that exist out there? How many different versions of the Bible? There's one Quran. Far East, Far West, North, South. One Quran everywhere in the world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has preserved this Quran. So these jinns, when they heard the glorious Quran, the beautiful recitation of the Prophet Muhammad they went to their people and conveyed their message. Yahdi ila al-haq wa ila tariqin mustaqim. They said this Quran guides to what is true. A very short video trying to explain when the jeans first heard Quran. Um, I think all these jeans stories are linked. For as long as we have good people in the world, there will always be bad people or bad spirits that exist. For, e for every good thing that's there, for every good news that's there, there will always be um, some bad news out there. You spread good on this other side, there is bad news spreading on the other side. Which is, I guess that's how the world works, which I don't understand. Why can't we just spread good news throughout? Other than that, um, the message was really nice, really, really nice. I was wondering why um, Muhammad wasn't welcome in Mecca. If you guys know the answer, please let us know in the comment section below. And other than that also, another point I picked up was um, 
I always say I always say this to myself why should I I mean I'm not criticizing the way the narrating voice said whatever he said the thing is I don't understand why should I compare something by comparing he wasn't really comparing what I'm saying is why should I say you're bad at math and I'm better than you and I expect the person that I'm telling that to learn from me I don't think that's how things should be said he makes he, he made a very good point which I agree with there is so many Bible versions that people are confused but then when you bring it in such a nice video it kind of defeats the purpose of just trying to listen and accept what someone is saying yes the bible has different versions but i wish he didn't touch on it he should have just focused on the quran focus on the perfection of this thing saying okay this this book is from god this book is this and that sometimes all we need is to see the good things or good part about the the book and we'll, we follow or people will follow so yeah either way the message was lovely not much to say you guys say it for yourselves and let me know what you feel about this reaction and what you feel about this video if i'm missing anything please let me know and give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video